Welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM. KFYO, hope you're having a wonderful day. Yesterday, Laura Trump, who we've had uh, on the show a couple of different times, uh, they officially launched the Women for Trump Coalition. And uh, joining us on the phones right now, a member of uh, the Women for Trump Coalition, uh, Dr. Shyla Valentine, cardiologist, uh, joining us uh, here on the program. Uh, Dr. Valentine, good morning. How are you today? Oh, good morning. This is so much fun. I grew up in Hereford, so this is really fun to be on your show. Well, that's great. We're, we're, we are uh, so glad to have you on and uh, uh, glad to have you back out here in West Texas. You bet. Well, uh, tell us about uh, you know the, the Women for Trump and, and this new um, and I say it's new. I, I don't think the campaign and the administration has ever, you know, not tried to reach out uh, to women. But this is more of a, a targeted effort now to reach out to female voters, correct? It was so much fun to be a part of it. I'm on the advisory board for the Women for Trump Coalition. We did have our rollout yesterday in Pennsylvania. We had a, over a thousand women. And our coalition is is starting earlier in the election cycle so that we can empower and recruit women of diverse background, diverse experience, so that we can celebrate what the president has accomplished and look forward to what he's going to do in the future. It's you, real exciting. You know, I, I think the un, unfortunate part of this, and, you know, obviously it's not y'all's fault, uh, this really wasn't covered by anybody in the media yesterday. I, I really didn't see anything about this today. I've seen a couple of things on Fox News, but I mean, you're talking about a, a big rally that was held and not much coverage on the national news media. That is concerning. I think we will see that change. Uh, the support for the president among women continues to grow. And what's really exciting is that what we're seeing is although women can't vote right now, they are voting with their pocketbook. Record number of female donors that we're seeing compared to the last election cycle. So it's, it's, the support is out there, whether the media coverage is it or not. Well, and, and here's what I want to ask you, because in the last election and after the last election, th there were stories that were coming out about how could how could any woman ever vote for for this man, for for, you know, th this this man who, who he liked the party in the past. And uh, he's, you know, the you know, all the argument, the, the, the media calls him a misogynist, uh, a, a bigot uh, that th they want to paint him as unfriendly towards women. Undoubtedly, you're going to, and, and the coalition are going to, uh, are going to talk to women who may not be supporters of Trump or wary of the president. What is? How do you reach out to those women? You know, I find it an easy, an easy thing to do because. You, there's so many things to celebrate. I don't think the president gets enough credit for the women that he's appointed to senior positions in the West Wing, to his cabinet, to judicial benches. And then you couple that with women are just doing better. Record unemployment among women, more money in their pocket. You know what's exciting is that in his first year of presidency, 600,000 women were off poverty. So his method, his measures, his results, they're working, and they're ch it's changing lives. Visiting with uh, Dr. Shyla Valentine here on the Chad Hasty Show. Grew up in uh, Hereford, Texas, uh, now part of the uh, advisory board for the Women for Trump Coalition. So w what all will this coalition do moving forward uh, as we get closer and closer to 2020? The coalition is going to be very vocal about what the president has accomplished. We will continue to reach out to women to join the effort. And we are hoping to continue the support among women and bring him over the finish line November 3rd, 2020. Are Republican female voices silenced by the national news media? I don't think they're silenced in our our workplace and our children's schools and our Sunday schools. The, the voices are not silent there. I just am trying to empower women to be more vocal and to celebrate what he's accomplished. Yeah. Well, and, and I think that there are, and this goes for men and women, I think there are a lot of Trump supporters uh, who, who love what he has been doing 
but they're worried to talk about it. They're worried to, you know, they're they're worried about it, that they'll be judged by their friends or or whomever. That you know that they're scared to. It's almost that silent majority out there. They're they're worried about endorsing the president. Do you find that? Well, those days need to be over because <laughs> yeah. what they need to be over because what the the Democrats are supporting is quite frankly scary. Yeah. And I think the days of uh, being silent need to end. You know, we hear on the the Democrat side, here's what Democrats, they, they, they try to spin it in a positive way. Of Here's what the Democrats will do for women. As, as a member of this coalition, as a Trump supporter, tell us your view. If, if the Democrats take the White House uh, and, control the, and control Congress in 2020, what does that look like? What does the future look like for for you, for for women? Well, I think for women or for all Americans, it puts our security in jeopardy with respect to open borders and decriminalizing immigration. It puts our health care in jeopardy because they support a single-payer system and not access to affordable plans. It puts our international relations in jeopardy. It, I mean, it's not hard to, to figure out that it's a very scary picture yeah. if Donald Trump's not reelected. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dr. Shyla Valentine, advisory board member for the 2020 Women for Trump Coalition. Appreciate your time today, and uh, hopefully we'll get to talk to you uh, in the future as, uh, as the uh, coalition continues to, to go around the country and uh, recruit and uh, bring uh, more women on, on board. I look forward to it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. That's Dr. Shiloh Valentine here on the Chad Hasty Show, News Talk KFYO.